Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at a AA flashlight. This is from Olight. It is the i5T EOS. Now this one is their special camo version. You can still get this one. This one was uh, released during their latest flash sale. It ends on November 30th at 1159 p.m. So this one is still available if you do like the camo version. Now they do have uh, the regular black version. This is a light that they've had out for a little while and they've done several different uh, models of this one, but this is my first time using it. And I have been pretty impressed with the light output from this little AA battery flashlight. Let's get into the i5T EOS. So first things first, this is going to carry an IPX8 rating. So it's gonna be waterproof down to 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes. It's also gonna have an impact rating of 1.5 meters as well. Overall length on this flashlight is three and three quarters of an inch long or about 95 millimeters, three quarters of an inch in overall diameter or roughly 19 millimeters. The weight on this is two point, they call it out as 2.12 ounces. I actually, on my scale, I got it at 2.2 ounces with the included battery. And the, that translates to 62 grams uh, for metric. So this particular flashlight also incorporates a, a TIR optic lens, which I got a little fingerprint on mine. I need to clean that off a little bit. Uh, so I, I really like the TIR optic lens. Now the first one that I got the chance to use that with was the Olight uh, Warrior Mini, which is a fantastic flashlight for EDC. Uh, but I really like it in this flashlight as well. Now that's going to give you uh, two different settings. It's going to have a 15 lumen low setting and a 300 lumen high setting. And that 300 lumens is going to get out there to about 60 meters of throw. So that is pretty impressive out of a double a flashlight considering just a few years ago i mean just not that long ago to get 300 lumens out of a double a flashlight was unheard of uh, flashlight technology just jumps by leaps and bounds these days before we hop into the specs or the uh, light settings of this i'm sorry uh one other thing i want to mention that i like a lot about this light and that is the dual position pocket clip now, I wished it was just a touch deeper. Uh, it leaves about a half inch exposed off the top when you're carrying it in the pocket. But I do like the fact that, you know, they're adding all these dual position clips to most every light that comes out these days. This one is really great because of the fact that it's so lightweight, though. This one really works well if you want to hook it onto the bill of a cap and use it in a hands-free mode. Uh, it's lightweight, really makes it a viable option for doing that. Some of the bigger lights, they get a little bit too heavy for that. Uh, though a lot of them, especially from Olight, are going to have your magnetic uh, attachment. This particular light does not. But this is an overall very nice little EDC light. Now, another thing that I like about this, and we'll bring that Warrior Mini in here real quick again. Uh, a lot of your lights today are going to have uh, either a side switch and uh, a tactical switch in the rear. This one is not considered tactical, obviously, so this is just going to be your standard EDC light. What I do like about this though, is it's very unlikely that if you're carrying this in a pocket, that you're gonna accidentally access that side switch so you don't have to worry about electronic lockouts on this flashlight. Uh, it's not something that you're gonna feasibly turn on the light while you're carrying in the pocket and thereby run down your battery. So a couple other features that I really like about this little AA flashlight. I'll dim the lights down a little bit here because I want to show you how this thing operates. It's a very simple switch and I don't remember if I pulled that battery out to show you. The threads on there are very, very, very nicely cut with a little O-ring seal there and then just your non-proprietary AA battery. So this only has a tail switch and the two different modes 15 and 300 now to access your low mode you can single press that'll get you into your low mode and then from there if you want to get to your high mode you will double click so one two and that'll ramp up to your 300 lumen output mode now you can also do that in temporary press where you will just half press it that'll get you into your low mode from there if you want to get into your uh your high mode what you want to do is just quickly double press or double half press and that will get you into a temporary 300 lumen mode and uh run time on the on this is at, at the full output of 300 lumens is going to give you about three minutes of battery life where then it's going to ramp down or jump down to 150 lumens for an additional 25 minutes and from there it will ramp down one more time to approximately 30 lumens and it'll give you another 122 minutes of runtime. Now on your 
15 lumen mode, that's going to give you a full 20 hours on that low setting of overall runtime on a double A alkaline battery. So those are pretty impressive run times for a little double A. This is one light that I actually enjoy quite a little bit while you get some of those higher end lights that give you all kinds of crazy outputs. Most people just need a simple flashlight that is going to work when you turn it on. So this is a great little EDC flashlight. I love the fact that it's non-proprietary batteries, though I also tend to lean towards more of the rechargeable batteries. I do like the fact that you can replace this one. So for those that, that just like a simple AA where you're not having to worry about charging cords and you know just a simple drop-in replacement, you can always use uh, rechargeable batteries as well. This might be a very good option. Now again, this is going to be available until November 30th at 1159 during the flash sale for the camouflage version. So if you, you still have a chance to get in there and get it uh, if you're catching this video before then. Otherwise, I'm not sure if this is going to drop from the line. I assume that it probably will and it's going to be only available in the black version but the black version is also uh, the same exact light it's just the finish is different this is a very nice little edc flashlight like the clip like the power uh love the light output 300 lumens uh, this little flashlight is really no joke this is the i5t eos links will be in the description below for those that are interested i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next one